Hello again viewers, it's Peter Elgar Photography here again. I had a request from one of my subscribers to show how I use my JIS, which is Japanese Industry Standard Screwdriver Set for when I'm taking apart bits of old cameras and stuff. So I thought I'd have a go and show you. The difference is in the point of the screwdriver and also the thickness of the blade. Now this is the Japanese set and this is a British set. Now, these come from Amazon, Great Britain and I bought them for £9 something and it arrived from Tokyo with a Japanese newspaper all screwed up in it. Well, I've tried for ages and ages to get the base plate of cameras off and I was trying with these British type screwdrivers and I, no matter how I tried I just couldn't undo it. Now this was the very small one which I was trying to get the base plate of a Nikon FE and a Pentax um, ME Super and my Canon A1 and the Japanese one looks similar but they're not I can assure you this British one won't go and turn the screws properly and will damage them. This is the Japanese one, the JIS screwdriver. It looks the same as a Phillips but it's not, the point is different and it will work straight away. The other one is the Japanese screws on the earlier cameras have a, a, a flat blade without a point, and that's a flat bladed one of the Japanese and I find one of the British now the thickness of the blade you can't see it, you need a magnifying glass to see it is different, they look the same but believe me, that when you try to undo these Japanese screws it is much easier to use a Japanese screwdriver now there's two other British types here. Oh, that one I tried to undo the base plate and this is a flat bladed one. Tried to undo the base plate of my Pentax S3 and that blade is a bit too thick to go into the proper screw. Now here's an enlarged view of a Phillips blade and that is a much bigger view in large up because it's a much thicker one. I'll show you what I mean with my cameras. Now we've just closed this for the moment. Now this is my lovely S3 Pentax which I re renovated in a previous video. Now underneath here You've got four screws which are the bladed ones, they're not, this, they're not the cross point. Now this is the British one, it don't quite go, it, look, it, it doesn't quite turn. You try to put the British one into that Japanese screw, it just won't go in. So now we'll get a proper Japanese one out, I think I use this one. Here we are. Uh, yeah, look, it turn, it turns beautifully. These are the ones by the tripod holder. It unscrews without any problem. It, that blade fits inside the screw head lovely. Well, I don't want to undo it right now because I've undone it once and took it all to bits and lubricated it. Now with the Canon A1 I had this off loads and loads of times because of the blasted Canon squeak. And I finally managed to do it. Now there's a British cross point one. There are two screws here. I thought that was... no it, it's not turning you see there we are, it won't turn, you think it's the same 
Right, we'll get the Japanese one now. That's the blade one, isn't it? Here we are. That's, I think it's a double ace, double nought no, no size. That goes in. Look, it undoes the screw perfectly without damaging. That's moving now, but the British one, which is like a Phillips, wouldn't move it. So I didn't want to use any false, so I finally got the right set for £9. And it also came in handy when I was measuring and um, mending the Agfa Isolate here. Although they're German screws, not Japanese, when I was doing the lens mount here, I had to take this apart because it wasn't focusing and the two lens elements were sort of welded together in old grease. I managed to get this minute little Japanese screw and there's some, you need your glasses on to see there's a minute little screws in there Terry small and it undoes those tiny little screws there you are, it's green it undoes those screws on my Agfa I select without any problems and I took the front ring off I think there's one, two three little minute screws you had to be very careful you didn't sneeze otherwise these minute little screws were going to be lost on the floor so I do it in a developing dish with some paper so that I can see the minute little screws and pick them up with tweezers but it was a right bind getting them in but at least with the help of the JIS proper screwdriver I managed to undo those tiny little screws so there we are there is a larger set you can buy but this set came from Amazon all the way from Tokyo and it has the proper screws for the job of undoing the base plates of your cameras so I hope this little video has been of interest to you and it's worth the £9 I paid so thanks for viewing cheerio for now